So do you remember why you didn't like the beginning of this season? Oh boy, I remember why. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode one of Supernatural season six. Thank you guys once again for following me along my journey for season one and season five. For those of you who also followed me from season 11 to season 15, we are now stepping into a area, a length of time that I have not gone back to since before I moved out. The last time I tried to watch season six, I got halfway through and then I fell off. Watching the first episode of the season, I remember why, because it is quite clear that they had absolutely no fucking idea what to do. The episode comes across so jumbled, yet there's so little that actually happens in it. You are just as lost as Dean is. On one hand, it's a good way of portraying the curiosity and the confusion and the what the actual hell is going on with this character. But at the same time, it does absolutely nothing to invigorate you to want to keep watching. There's not even a little nugget. Sure, there is the reappearance of Grandpa because why? Sure, there's the reappearance of Sam, but it's so flimsily put in. It is so flimsy in terms of the overall story. And I understand that there is a want to try and make you kind of curious. It makes you want to know why Sam is back. And maybe it is because that I am kind of relaying to what I know is going to happen later on in the season and later on in the show that I am kind of at the point of, well, this is a very lame and very unentertaining season opener. But I feel it is fair to criticize that, not just because of what I know, but actually just based on the episode itself. It's a really weak opener, guys. This is the weakest opener I can think of in memory. I'll give season 15 a better opening than this one. This one is by far probably one of the worst openers that this show ever had. And admittedly, Sarah Gamble is coming in with two broken legs. Just had one of the best episodes, pretty much the best episode of Supernatural ever produced, and now she's given the reins of like, okay, Kripke's gone, but the boys want to keep on doing the show, and the fans keep on wanting us to do the show even though the story kind of really ended. Uh, fuck! And it definitely starts to build that kind of brick layering that I know is going to happen in terms of just the disappointment and the kind of meh that we're going to get through a lot of this season. Dean's face every time he finds out that everyone knew that Sam was back except him is kind of my face throughout this episode. It also is kind of funny too to think that this is a set a year ahead, supposedly a year after the events of Swan Song, but they would never do this again. They would never jump a year in time, because technically speaking, when this season ended, it was, what, 2011, that was the end of season 5. So technically speaking, we should be in June slash September of 2012. I don't know if they're going to do that again, though. Because as the show would go on, it would kind of keep concurrent with current day mm, timing, not president not figure wise because they would change that later on obviously in season 13 but either way season six's opener is quite eh i like the bit where dean is kind of living as a regular day guy i do like the jin kind of revenge story even if it is very flimsy but yeah there's nothing really to grip you and now a little bit of a personal story here i remember watching this in uh, olympic park or olympic sound it's one of the kind of peninsula areas that's off the coast of seattle and we watched it on a television at this boring ass hotel that my dad had thought would have been interesting and admittedly maybe if you went there during the summer or if you went there when it was really nice and you wanted to go swimming sure but we were there in september late september and it was cold it was miserable and so when Supernatural came on, that was the thing I was really looking forward to, was like, oh, let's see how they do. And not only was this episode what it was, but it was also audio delayed. There was an audio sync issue throughout the entire episode. I actually made a long distance phone call to Czech TV, which is the distributor of the, the island um, distributor that was uh, publishing and broadcasting the show. How are you cocking this up already? You just got given a really popular show and you already got an audio sync going on. How have you not noticed this yet? So yeah, I was quite salty. <laughs> but in the end, my rating for the opener of season six is a harsh one. It's a two out of seven. This is a very lame opener, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't like this opener. But as I know, it's gonna kind of stay in the same route, but it might go up, it might go down. We'll see. But either way, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. And as is tradition, give me your guys' thoughts about the next episode. Now, admittedly, I will preface one thing. I did like the long ones that you guys gave me for season five. It made sense because it is one of the best, if not the best season that the show ever produced. So I understood and I was welcoming of the very long and in-depth comments. This time around, would it be okay if I could ask you guys to make them a little bit shorter. I'm more so kind of going for view count as well as just general look, but I do realize that having video reviews that are like 20 minutes long and it's just me talking, I, I realize I can be boring to people. I realize I can maybe drag on a little bit longer than it needs to. So you guys want to make them like, I don't know, a couple of sentences, maybe like three or four sentences. That would be great. But either way, I'm really excited to see what you guys think about how I review this season as well as we continue on into the newer seasons. I'm about to go and watch episode two right now, even though I have this much motivation. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And like I said, leave me a comment about the second episode of the season, and I'll read that off in the next review. Otherwise, excited to take this road again with you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.